there is an improved and upgraded horizon emulator uh, in today's video i'm going to show you how to configure it set it up and use it smoothly without any issue uh, first of all if you have already downloaded it uh, make sure you download it from uh, the link provided in the, the comment section uh, if you have downloaded it uh, yeah you install it install yes okay of course tap on more install anyway input your whatever yeah the app has already installed uh after installing it allow it to access file manager then look for it from here horizon horizon is already here now when you install it this is how it will look for the first time totally empty here now what you do is you tap here yes you tap on this download after tapping on this download just tap on update all here yeah update all give it time and let it download okay, now guys as you can see all the all the repositories have been updated yeah they have been all updated you can see here they just show me to install they have just been updated now what you do uh you tap this icon you tap on this icon then to bring you to this page here yeah. uh first things first you have to tap here uh x x11 settings you tap there uh for the display resolution put it in exact uh display resolution uh put it in 128 1280 by 720 uh then this one turn it on stretch to fit full full screen turn it on uh then this one full screen on device display turn it on force landscape orientation yes turn it on uh show display cut if any yeah turn that on and then keyboard and then turn turn it on too uh then uh no. yeah then the rest you leave them as they are then what you do is go back a little bit when you go back a little bit now let's go to environment settings tap on environment settings uh yours for the f uh, for the first time when you come to environment settings what you do is create a new preset yeah you create a new preset after when it takes when you tap on create a new preset it will bring this it will bring uh, as you can see here it will bring this and then tap on it now input these settings as they are yes you have to input these settings as they are mm. The first one, uh, the first one is going to be enable this, yeah, turn it on, uh, then build big block, you just tap here and put it to zero, mm. don't emulate none, turn it off, don't use precise, turn it off, then scroll down, scroll down where you see here CPU topology, put it to 8 core, 8 core, and then here yeah he, this is important video memory uh the ram yeah if your phone has less than 8 gb ram you are recommended to put it here but this device has has 8 gb ram so i'm putting it there uh what else let us try to see this service startup turn it on uh let's scroll down let's scroll down and then this one max size max size of shader cache put it to 1 gb yeah put it to 1 gb scroll down a little bit uh, yeah i think that is it yeah that is it we go back we go now after after that you tap here yeah after tapping here you come to a page like this yeah you'll come to a page like this but what you do is uh, you are going to tap on this wine 9.16 and then create create a con you tap on create a container yeah i've already created my container i'm just going to show you how the settings are supposed to be yeah for you just tap on create container it will bring you to a page like this yeah it will bring you to this page now when you come here 
uh, you'll be to environment preset. You remember we created a new preset, yeah? This is the new preset we created. Just tap in it. And then box 64, just tap on the latest. And then uh, DXVK driver, of course, tap on the latest. And then TANIP driver, you, there's a lot of drivers here, but what you do is tap on horizon. And then DFD, DA, DKD 3D driver, put just put it on, a, on the latest. Then leave the rest as they are, yeah? Leave the rest as they are, and then tap on done, yeah? After tapping on done, done, to launch your emulator, what you're going to do is now you're going to tap on this icon. Tap on it, it will launch immediately. For the first time, it will take a few minutes, yeah? Give it time, wait for it to load. It has already loaded. You can see I've already installed the Virtual DJ 7, yeah? In my previous videos, I showed you how to install this application, these softwares, yeah? Let's try to open it. Yeah, as you can see, it is opening very well. Let us try to play a music video. Okay, let's play a music video, as you can see. 